Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Tonight, we are here to recognize our scholarship recipients of the wonderful class of 2024. So if we could please open with a round of applause for our student. At this time, I would like to welcome the principal of the Middle and High School, Mr. Rodney Arthur, for some opening remarks. Good evening, everyone. Oh, we can do better than that. This is our senior class that have made history, earned over seventy thousand dollars in scholarships. Good evening, everyone. That's more like it. <laughs> so, good evening, parents, guests, families, and most importantly, our senior scholars. Tonight, we're gathered here to celebrate the outstanding achievement of the class of 2024. Each of you have worked tirelessly hard, demonstrating scholarship and commitment to excellence. Tonight, we honor your dedication, your resilience, and your extraordinary accomplishments. Over the past four years, you have faced challenges unique to your class, testing your strength and your perseverance. These experiences have impacted you socially and personally. Yet you have shown remarkable tenacity, navigating academic rigor, extracurricular commitments, and personal growth with unwavering conviction. Your achievement have elevated Tuckahoe's pride to new heights. You have set a new standard of success that no other graduating class from Tuckahoe High School has achieved, paving the way for future classes. To our award recipients, your hard work has paid off. Your achievements are a testament to your passion, your dedication, your scholarship, and the countless hours you've devoted pursuing your dreams and your goals. You have shown that success comes from persistence and, and, and consistent effort that su and support from your loved ones. To the parents, guardians, grandparents, and families, your support and sacrifices and encouragement have been invaluable to our scholars. Your unwavering support has provided our scholars with confidence, strength, resources to achieve their dreams. Tonight, we share the celebration with you, acknowledging your vital support in their journey. Thank you. <laughs> Seniors, Remember that attitude defines you and shapes your character. Continue to surround yourself with those who will encourage and support you. While friendship is essential, remember a true friend will inspire you and tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Continue to be curious, to seek knowledge, to strive for excellence, and to always put a best effort forward. Congratulations to the class of 2024, and let the award ceremony begin. Good evening, everyone. As we begin our award ceremony, I want to take a moment to thank uh, Ms. Nicoletos, Ms. Pinto, for their hard work and diligence behind the scenes to make this night run smoothly. Thank you. Our first award today, the AAU Excellence in Writing Award, is awarded to a senior girl who best fulfills the combined criteria of de demonstrated service to her school, academic ability, and potential for future service to women in the solution of social and civic problems. This year's recipient is Renee Arana. The AAUW Outstanding Student Award is awarded to a senior girl who best fulfills the combined criteria of demonstrated service to her school, academic ability, and potential for future service to women in the solution of social and civic problems. 
This year's recipient is Leah Charity Spriggs. The Bronxville Manor Association Scholarship is awarded to a college-bound high school senior who lives in Bronxville Manor and excels in academics. This year's recipient is Keishla Arena. The Chester Heights Civic Association Scholarship is awarded to two college-bound high school seniors who are residents of Chester Heights. This year's recipients are Emily Sexton and Isabella Vivas. The Coach Jerry DeSantis Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who most emulates what Coach D stood for, someone who gave everything to Tuckahoe High School and asked for nothing in return. This student demonstrates strong character and drive in their academic focus, including great academic standing, extracurricular activities, and community service. This year's recipient is Daniela Morgan. The Community Fund is an award from donors of the Community Fund of Bronxville, East Chester, and Tuckahoe in memory of Michael Frey and in appreciation for all the support the community receives from its dedicated police, fire, and other emergency workers. This award also recognizes the support and dedication displayed toward their peers at the school and community at large. This award is used to help further these students' higher education. This year's recipients are Leah Charity Spriggs, <laughs> Fanon Gabrenegis, and Alexander Macho. East Chester Italian American Club Scholarship is presented in memory of Nick Dioria and is awarded to three students who've completed four years of the Italian language, community service, and maintains good academic standing. This year's recipients are Federico Vaca, Flavio Vaca, and Isabella Vivas. The East Chester Police Association, in honor of Officer Michael Frey, who was killed in the line of duty, awards a scholarship to a student who has shown good school citizenship, hard work, and plans to further his or her education. This year's recipient is Lanisha Parker. I would just like to recognize one student who just joined us, so the winner of the A. AAUW Outstanding Student Award, Leah Charity Spriggs. In addition, Leah also won the Community Fund Award as well. So congratulations, Leah.
The Eastchester Professional Firefighter Local 916 in memory of Thomas C. Viafor is awarded to students who demonstrate academic achievement, character, and school service. This year's recipient, Aiden Lynch. The Eastchester Tuckahoe Chamber of Commerce Award is given to a student who is graduating during the current year from Tuckahoe High School and has displayed exceptional character. This year's recipient is Leah Charity Spriggs. The Eastchester Volunteer Firefighter Company Award is awarded to a senior who will be attending college in the fall and plans to pursue a career as a firefighter, law enforcement officer, or similar community service career. This year's recipients are Renee Arana, and Jackson Snyder. The Eastchester Women's Club Award is awarded annually to two outstanding graduating seniors. This year's recipients are Artemis Caparoso and Anastasia Harris. The Future Educator Scholarship donated by the Kikuchi family in honor of Mark Kikuchi in appreciation of the impact that Tuckahoe High School made on his life. This year's recipient is Max Galinsky. The Harriet K. Thompson plaques recognize two students for their outstanding character, cooperation, loyalty, and leadership. This year's recipients are Renee Arana and Tommy Mitsianis. The J. and Eileen Schmidt Memorial Award, established by daughters Barbara, class of 1977, and Joan, class of 1980, in honor of their parents, who during their lifetime were strong advocates of public education and ardent supporters of the Tuckahoe schools. Awarded to a college-bound senior who demonstrates kindness towards others, dedication to learning, involvement in extracurricular activities, and strong school spirit. This year's recipient, Fanon Gabrenegis. The John Philip Sousa Band Award is awarded to a student in recognition of outstanding achievement and interest in instrumental music 
for singular merit in loyalty and cooperation and for displaying those high qualities of conduct that school instrumental music requires. This year's recipient is Henry Padal. Before switching up, I would like to circle back. I'd like to introduce two honorees who joined us for the Eastchester Italian American Club Scholarship in memory of Nick Dioria, Federico Vaca, and Flavio Vaca. The Joseph Tolles Foundation Scholarship recognizes a college-bound senior who has overcome personal hardship having to do with family, economic, or emotional issues, and through their perseverance has been able to apply and gain acceptance to an institution of higher learning following graduation. This year's recipient is El Hussein Sindani. The Junior League of Bronxville Scholarship is awarded to a young woman who demonstrates a strong commitment to both volunteerism and academic excellence. This year's recipient is Leah Charity Spriggs. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is awarded to a student in recognition of outstanding achievements in the field of jazz as demonstrated through superior musicianship, character, and individual creativity. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is hereby presented to Mateo Hernandez Ferro. The Lieutenant Colonel Sam Durienzo VFW Post Scholarship in honor of active duty military National Guards, first responders, and police is awarded to a student who has been accepted into an accredited college, university, or trade school, has active participation in school and community programs, and has good academic achievements. This year's recipient is James Calachico. The New York State Citizen Award is awarded to students who have made a significant impact on their school, community, and other area of civil life. This year's recipients are Skylar Bryce, and Jacob Liberati.
The New York State Controller's Achievement Award is presented each year to students who have excelled academically and have also shown leadership potential by volunteering their time to serve the school or the community. Controller DiNapoli sends his sincere congratulations to this year's recipient, Julia Frett, and his best wishes to the graduating class of 2024. New York State Department of Education Scholarship for Academic Excellence awards recognizes the three students with the highest average and awards those who intend to study full-time and be matriculated in an approved undergraduate program of study in a New York State post-secondary institution and have displayed good academic standing. This year's recipients are Renee Arana, Tommy Mitzianis and Jackson Snyder. The New York State Office of the Attorney Triple C Award is presented to a senior in recognition of commitment to school and community, strength of character to make the right decisions, and courage to meet all challenges ahead. This year's recipients are Emma Hartman and Shannon Lee. The Philip D. Tobin Award was created by the Eastchester Tuckahoe Democratic Committee in honor of the late Philip D. Tobin, mayor of the village of Tuckahoe and community activist, and is donated by Mr. and Mrs. Vito Pinto. This award is presented to a student who best exemplifies the spirit of caring about others through involvement in school and community activities. This year's recipient is Isabella Usher. The police officer Joseph DePippo Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who has demonstrated good citizenship and a strong work ethic. This year's recipient is Michael Rideout. The Rachel's Challenge Award is presented to a student who most embodies the way Rachel Scott challenges us to live our lives without prejudice, daring to dream, choosing positive influences, and acting and speaking. This year's recipient is Ava Audia.
The Rotary Club of Eastchester Edward R. Rufo Scholarship is awarded to a student who has displayed superior achievement in varsity athletics, has been recognized by coaches, team members, and or conference officials. This year's recipient is Connor Benke. The Rotary Club of Eastchester John Barr Scholarship is awarded to a student who has displayed active participation in high school activities, events, or projects, and community-related programs with an above-average GPA and exemplifies the Rotary motto of service above self. This year's recipient is Renee Arana. The Sons of Italy Garibaldi Lodge Scholarship is awarded to a student who has achieved academic excellence in Italian as well as studied the Italian language for four years or more. This year's recipients are Matteo Hernandez Ferro, <laughs> Federico Vaca, <laughs> and Flavio Vaca. The Student Advocacy Award is awarded to a student who has overcome the odds. This year's recipient is Skylar Bryce. The Michael Mickey Morgan Scholarship is awarded to a senior who has displayed good character, honor, and ethics. This year's recipient is Jacob Liberati. The Stephen Wasco Memorial Award is given to a senior who, in the estimation of the faculty, most personifies those qualities of academic excellence and leadership in school activities that were so much a part of Stephen Wasco's character. Academic excellence speaks for itself. Leadership encompasses a total involvement in school life and a commitment to its growth and progress in such areas as student government, athletics, musical programs, literary endeavors, or dramatics. This year's recipient is Henry Padal. I'd like to circle back to one award, the Eastchester Professional Firefighter Local 916 Award in memory of Thomas C. Viafor. This year's recipient, Aiden Lynch.
The Tuckahoe Athletic Scholarship in memory of Augie Nardone is presented to two varsity athletes who've competed in a JV and or varsity sport for at least two years, including senior year at Tuckahoe High School, demonstrating leadership and an overall sense of good moral character and citizenship. This year's recipients are Renee Arana, and Daniela Morgan. The Tuckahoe Geo Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who has overcome a significant challenge in their life, and this year's recipient is Daniela Morgan. Tuckahoe High School Scholarship in honor of Jackie Grill and George Bailey, THS Class of 1957, is awarded to a student who demonstrates commitment to improving our society at the local, state, or national level. This year's recipient is Jacob Liberati. The Tuckahoe Police Department Scholarship is awarded to a student who has performed a good deal of past and present community service. This year's recipient is Connor Benke. The Tuckahoe PTA Scholarship is awarding 10 scholarships this year to students who have shown excellent character, involvement in school activities, and display leadership qualities. This year's recipients are Joanna Arana, <laughs> Renee Arana, Connor Benke, <laughs> Artemis Caparosa, <laughs> Leah Charity Spriggs, <laughs> James Colachico. Emma Hartman, Beatrice Lage, Daniela Morgan, and Jackson Snyder. The Tuckahoe School Foundation Scholarship Achievement of Excellence Award 
are funded by the individual members of the foundation and are awarded to graduating seniors who have, who have exhibited a commitment to the school and their community. This year's recipients are Joanna Arana, <laughs> Renee Arana, <laughs> Artemis Caparoso, <laughs> Daniela Morgan, <laughs> and Emily Sexton. Tuckahoe School Foundation Scholarship, Quigley Community Service Award, recognizes students for their hard work and individual achievement. This year's recipients are Leah Charity Spriggs, <laughs> Jacob Liberati, The Tuckahoe Soccer Parent Scholarship are presented to graduating seniors who show athletic prowess and dedication to the sport of soccer. This year's recipients are Mateo Hernandez Ferro, <laughs> Federico Vaca, <laughs> and Flavio Vaca. The Tuckahoe Teachers Association Scholarship is presented on behalf of the TTA to a senior who plans to pursue a career in the field of education. This scholarship is awarded to Jacob Liberati. The Tuckahoe Youth Association Scholarship is awarded to a student who has participated in TYA baseball or softball for a minimum of two years. This year's recipient is Daniela Morgan. The ZNO CSF Scholarship Award. This scholarship is established to recognize a high school student who has excelled academically and who has participated in school and community activities and projects. This year's recipient is Leah Charity Spriggs. Now we will move into the Tucko High School four-year awards, the highest overall average for four years in a variety of subject areas. First, English, Math, Science, Social Studies, Renee Arana.
In addition, art, chorus, physical education, and strings, Renee Arana. Highest overall average for four years in Spanish, Jax Calachico. Highest overall average for four years in Italian, Isabella Vivas. Congratulations. Highest overall average for four years in physical education, Connor Benke. Skylar Bryce, <laughs> Leah Charity Spriggs, <laughs> Vincent Dooley Moulet, <laughs> Ava Lee, <laughs> Jacob Liberati, <laughs> Frank Loyacono. Patrick Seifer, <laughs> Isabella Tate, and Federico Vaca. Highest overall average for four years in band and physical education, Mateo Hernandez Ferro. Highest overall average for four years in strings, Anastasia Harris, and Hannah Korn. If we could please give a round of applause to all of our scholarship and award recipients. Last but certainly not least, I would like to welcome our principal, Mr. Arthur, to the podium for our final two awards. Let's give it up for Mr. C for doing an outstanding job, and Mr. Treglia. So, our last two awards. I think without any surprise, it goes to our valedictorian and our salutatorian for the two highest grade point average of the graduating class of Tucko High School. Renee Arana, please come on up. And Jackson Snyder, come on up.
As we come to an end of our program, I just want to extend a heartfelt thanks to the parents. Um, it is such a privilege and a pleasure to come in each day to really interact with the wonderful children that you sent to us. And I am a parent of four children, and I can tell you, we have some outstanding children here in Tucko, and I'm so glad to serve as their principal. So thank you for what you do at home, because it's certainly impacts us directly here at school. So congratulations to the parents. None of this is possible without your devotion, the sacrifices I said earlier, and just the values that you establish at home. So again, a heartfelt thank you for all that you do. So graduates, I know we're not done yet, right? It's right around the corner, but please stand and acknowledge your parents for all that they do. Please stand and acknowledge your parents for all that they do. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so again, just want to thank Mr. C, certainly Mr. Treglia, certainly Mr. Evans, Ms. Pinto, and Ms. Nicolettos for all that they've done to put this program together, and certainly all of our support staff. S seniors, we'll see you at graduation rehearsal, all right? Yes, we'll see you at graduation rehearsal, and we're done for the evening. Thank you, and get home safely. <laughs>